So in this video, we're going to talk about referencing your tenant. Before you move a tenant into any property, it's critical to your success as a landlord that you reference them right. So in this video, we're going to talk about what that process looks like. Let's get into it. So the first part of the referencing process is checking that the person that you're dealing with is indeed the right person. So it's checking their ID and their right to rent. It's actually a legal requirement, it has been for some time now, that you check that the person uh, is either born in the UK, in which case they've got an automatic right to rent, or if they're born outside of the UK, they need the correct documentation, usually a visa that says that they're okay to rent inside the UK. Now, you can do those checks yourself or you can start the process with a referencing agency. We'd highly recommend using a referencing agency and they will do that part of the process for you. So once you know that you've got the, uh, the ID of the person right, the person you're looking at is the right person and they've got the right to rent in the UK, the next thing you need to do is a credit check uh, to assess their credit worthiness. And again, if you're using a referencing agency, they will do that process for you. They'll look into the Experian records and the credit records. Uh, you can ask your tenant to provide those for you. They can sign up and give you a copy of that process. It can take a little bit longer. Uh, at the referencing agency we use, uh, takes a matter of hours to get this information. Once you have the credit check, there's another step that some landlords miss out, but I think is absolutely essential, and that's an affordability check. Now, it's totally possible that you see a tenant on £50,000 a year, let's say, but they're spending £45,000 of it. And the affordability, therefore, would only be £5,000. Now, if your rent is £10,000 a year, they can't afford it. It's also possible you've got a tenant that's earning £35,000 a year, but they're only spending fifteen. So it's not just about uh, how much they earn and the credit worthiness, it's also about affordability. So always make sure you look a little bit deeper and check that they can afford the rent too. So as part and parcel of working out affordability, you will almost certainly be doing an employer's reference. So the employer will confirm how much money they're earning and that they're in permanent employment and indeed that they are in employment. So an employer's uh, reference is a key part of this whole process. And the final piece of the jigsaw is the previous landlord. It's always sensible to call the previous landlord and get a reference from them. Now, another thing that you can and I think should do is call the previous landlord. It's totally possible that uh, this tenant's current landlord doesn't like them so much, wants for it and gives you a good reference. You'll get a far more honest reference from the previous landlord. So um, it's definitely worth taking that extra step. But landlord references give you a really good insight into the overall picture of the tenant and how they looked after the previous property that they're living in now. So by covering those key points in your referencing process, you're far more likely to find a good tenant. Um, now, something that's interesting, if you can tick all of those boxes, the other thing that you can do is get rent and legal insurance, and that's always a good little tip, so a little bonus one there for you. If a tenant passes referencing in that way, then you can ensure that they do always keep paying their rent, because uh, always unexpected things can happen. Of course, they might lose their job, so rent and legal insurance insurance will, uh, will protect for that. Now, as a letting agency, we can run that entire process for you. If you want any help, um, there's plenty of links depending where you're watching this. The blue talk to us button on forthelandlords.com is always a, a uh, the fail safe method of getting hold of us. And we can um, let only a property for you. We can find a tenant, reference them and put a tenant in there. And then if you want us to manage it, of course, we can do that as well. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if you're a DIY landlord, that's the, that's the idea. If you want help, go to forthelandlords.com. If you want somewhere in between, there's a learning hub and a members area at forthelandlords.com with loads of downloads and free advice there as well. So take that and uh, use it as you will. Hopefully that's been useful and you've enjoyed the content. Like and subscribe, depending where you're watching this. We'll see you in the next one.